Hey there! Are you on the lookout for the best email platform for your brand? If so, you are in the right place. I know that there are a ton of email platforms and the problem is a lot of their features look very, very similar. So in this video, we're going to compare two very popular platforms and that is Klaviyo and Privy and help you choose the one that's right for you and your business. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Casey and I run Luck & Co Agency. We are an email and SMS marketing agency agency that helps seven and eight figure e-commerce brands maximize their revenue from email and SMS. Again, if you're new here, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Super important. You are helping us a lot and that way you will never miss a new video and our videos are awesome. Check them out and also click like under this video. This also helps us a ton and helps my team continue to produce these free videos for YouTube. Okay, let's get going and compare Klaviyo and Privy. So if you're a little bit familiar with this industry and with Klaviyo and Privy, you know that Klaviyo um, is a very big player in the email marketing world and Privy, uh, they are generally a smaller company and they started with just the pop-ups. So the, the forms, the email and SMS collection forms, and then they expanded their offering and now they also offer email and SMS services. And something really hot is happening in the market right now. If you go on Twitter and just search for Privy, you will see that Privy is going hard after Klaviyo customers. And Klaviyo just recently announced like their big new product unveiling and that they'll be focusing more, not focusing more, but also focusing on the enterprise clients. So they're going for bigger companies. So now Privy is trying to take all of the smaller brands off of Klaviyo and bring them over to Privy. In this video, we'll talk about whether that's a good idea for you or not, but just look at this ad on Twitter. It says migrate to Privy and get 50% off your Klaviyo bill. Spicy. Okay, so let's look at the different things and the different aspects of these two platforms. And the first thing that we're going to talk about is pricing. How much are you looking at paying with both of these platforms? I'm going to go straight to their pricing page and compare. So with Privy, you're, you're able to start with zero and this is up to 100 mailable contacts. And then if you have 250 mailable contacts, you go to $15 per month. And then for $45 per month, you get up to 3000 email contacts and 500 textable contacts. And then if you scroll down a little bit here, they will give you more ideas on the pricing. And then if you have more than 3000 email contacts, then just put the number of email contacts you have here and they will tell you the price. Obviously pricing changes all the time. So if you're watching this video later, just go back to these pricing pages and check out the pricing. And then to compare, this is the Klaviyo pricing. I just put down the same exact number of, like I took the, the most expensive plan here with 3000 email contacts and 500 textable contacts. And we're looking at $90 versus uh, previous $45. On the first look, it seems like Klaviyo is almost twice as expensive, which is kind of consistent with the overall theme here that Klaviyo is a better fit for somewhat bigger brands and bigger businesses. And then Privy is much more friendly for smaller businesses. So pricing wise, Privy is looking much, much more attractive so far. The next thing we want to compare is the ease of use, how easy it is to work with both of these platforms when it comes to their dashboards, when it comes to their uh, editable editor, <laughs> design editor. And I would say they're pretty comparable uh, to me, um, probably to a newer user, Klaviyo would take a little bit more time to get set up and get used to the platform. That's what I hear a lot. Um, to me, it's kind of like second nature, but I understand that at the beginning, it might seem more overwhelming. Um, however, I do feel like Klaviyo does a really good job of offering you a lot of different templates. So let's look specifically at templates that both Klaviyo and Preview offer and kind of see what you're getting with, with both of these platforms. So let, we're in Klaviyo right now. I'm clicking on create a new template. And then while I'm here, I'm going to actually, I'm not going to click anywhere because they're going to show me all of the templates that are just kind of available to use out of the box right here. And as you can see, like these are looking pretty solid they're looking really, really good. You can 
choose any of these templates and then open them and customize and create your own email. So lots and lots here. Now let's switch over to Privy. So this is Privy's dashboard and let's click on new newsletter. Um, and here's another thing, Clavio calls newsletters or like single send emails campaigns and then Privy calls them newsletters. And then Privy calls pop-ups campaigns. So it's a little bit of a mind twister. Um, so if you see me use terms differently, this is why, because it's two different platforms calling uh, same things, different names and calling different things, same, same name. Um, but we're looking at email templates with Privy and you see that they also have some here. It's kind of harder to preview because we only see the top, but let's scroll down. I would say in general, they also offer a good number of templates, but I find that Clavio templates are looking a little bit better um, and there are also more of them. So let's just click on one of these, 4th of July. So, I mean, it's usable, it's pretty good. If you're starting out, right? Let's look at this one too. Oopsie. There we go. Kind of super similar. So I'll let you make your call here. In my opinion, Clavio offers a few more templates to choose from and they're a little bit more sophisticated. But again, if you're a smaller brand and you're just starting out and you need the bare minimums and you would rather pay the smaller price and this is enough for you, I can totally see how Privy templates can work for you as well. When it comes to the email designers, the drag and drop designer within each platform, I would say that Clavio is probably a little bit harder to use and a little bit harder to get used to. Um, it offers a ton of different optimization options, but they're kind of like you need to know where they are. Um, and also because there's so much to customize, um, it might require more work to make it look good. And then Preview uh, Design Editor is a little bit more straightforward. Things are more on the surface. Um, but it, again, it's a matter of what you're used to. I really love Clavio uh, Template Editor, as you know, if you've been watching my videos and Privy is somewhat newer to me. But again, it's a matter of preference and a matter of habit as well. The next thing that I want to look at with both of these platforms is analytics. What does reporting look like and do I get the data on my campaigns that I need to make important decisions? So this is um, a Clavio dashboard and I really, really like this dashboard because it shows me how much money I made from Shopify in general in the last 30 days and then how much of that came from Clavio, meaning from my emails and SMS and Clavio, both in terms of a dollar amount, a percent and then how much of that is automated through flows and how much is coming from campaigns. So this right here is already giving me a lot of information and then I can kind of see flow by flow. I can build dashboards like this that kind of go super in depth if that's what you need. And you can slice and dice the data in a lot of different ways. When we're in Privy, I would say that their reporting is definitely sufficient. Um, it's good for smaller brands, but of course, if you're a bigger brand and you want in-depth reports, you like really want to see what people are doing at every hour after sending a campaign or how campaigns, uh, campaigns or flows, automated emails or newsletters compare to each other, compare in different time periods and stuff like that, it's harder to get with Privy. So let's look at what reporting looks like in Privy. This is what their reporting looks like for um, flows, so automated sequences of emails. Um, you see each and every email, and then you see how many were delivered, opened, clicked, and saved. I think saved means um, like either added to cart or something like that, but Privy has this in their documentation. And then how much revenue each of these emails made. One thing that I'm missing from here as an email marketer is the time frame. So I'm not able to see which time frame this is for, and I'm assuming this is for all time. Um, but again, if I want to compare this month to past month um, or go any, any more in depth, I can't with Privy. So that's a little shortcoming. And if it's important to you, it's something to consider. And then if we look at their newsletters or campaigns, uh, what, what Privy calls newsletters and what Clavio calls campaigns, so single single send emails, the metrics would be very similar. You will see how many were delivered, what percentage opened, what percentage clicked, and what the revenue was from each email. So very similar. To compare and contrast that with 
um, a flow report in Klaviyo. If you go into here, you'll be able to toggle between different time frames. Again, we're in Klaviyo. And then you see every single email in this flow. And then for each email, you see all of these metrics, and then you're able to click through any of these. Like for example, let's see delivered, and we'll actually get a list of all of the people right here. And then we're able to go and look at that person's profile and see exactly when they did certain things and see their historic customer lifetime value, um, like super, super in-depth. To draw the line on this section, uh, Klaviyo allows you to go a lot more in-depth and gives you more detailed, more sophisticated reports. And Privy gives you just enough for a small brand, uh, but not enough if you want to go really deep into data. Okay, next topic, pop-ups. Pop-ups or opt-in forms, super important because this is what you use to grow your list. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, Privy started as a pop-up tool. So they actually have a few tools that Klaviyo doesn't have. Um, I'm in Klaviyo right now, but let me switch to Privy and click into new campaign. Again, campaign is what they call pop-ups. And you'll see that they start with kind of simple sign-up forms over here. But if you go down, they will offer to build a free shipping bar for your website. You can also build a countdown timer bar um, and so on. And then what is this? Countdown timer with the sign-up. So this countdown feature is really cool. I don't think Klaviyo has that. Um, and then with Klaviyo, you can build something like this, uh, but it's not an out of the box templated like Privy offers it right here. So Privy offers a few different types of pop-ups or campaigns um, that Klaviyo doesn't. But if we go back to Klaviyo and look at all of the pop-up and form templates that they provide, I find that they just offer a lot more variety for you to choose from. So they start with two-step pop-ups over here, things that look like this. Um, and then you can go like create a free account there as well and kind of look through this. I find that the look of these is also a lot more modern. Um, and fun, you know, like this round shape and then this new product drop uh, feature is looking really cool. And then if you scroll down, there are like lots and lots of different things. Like this is looking really cool right out of the box, right? And then these things and like just the sheer amount of like things that you can choose from is really, really great down to some like more simple forms. And now let's contrast that with Privy again. Like this is all I get with Privy. Another thing that's really important when it comes to pop-ups, if you're doing both email and SMS marketing, is you will want to have two-step pop-ups or multi-step pop-ups. So that in step one, you're asking for email address. In step two, you're asking for the phone number. And I have videos on this channel walking you through exactly how to build that in Klaviyo. So check out that video. Um, but what I find interesting is that you can do multi-step pop-ups in Privy, but you have to set them up as separate pop-ups. And I started doing this in my own account, which I'll show you right here. So if we go into all campaigns, you see I have to set up the first step as a separate form and then the second step as another form, and then I connect them in between each other by kind of like what happens after the form is closed. Um, so as long as you know how to do that, it's fine. And they do offer a pretty good training on this. But what I find really helpful in Klaviyo is that you can just choose one type of pop-up and then you design um, and set up all of the steps in one place. And it's really easy to tell what's like one, what acts as one pop-up. Um, versus in Privy, like you really have to be good about naming, otherwise it seems like they're different forms, but really they pop up one right after another when they're actually on your website. So to sum up this section, both Privy and Klaviyo offer pretty good uh, pop-up options. Privy has the time, the timer or countdown timer uh, feature that Klaviyo doesn't have, but Klaviyo offers a lot more design presets and templates for pop-ups, and they also make the multi-step pop-up form easier to manage than Privy.
One of the last things that I want to compare and contrast is integrations. If you are a growing business or a growing e-commerce store, integrations, like how, how the different platforms that you use integrate with each other is going to be super important and going to determine a lot of what you can or cannot do in your marketing and in your business in general. Klaviyo integrates with all of the popular shopping platforms such as Shopify, WooCommerce, um, Magento, and so on. And then of course, they also integrate great with all of the review platforms, loyalty and rewards programs, uh, subscription programs such as Recharge. Um, they started integrating with customer support platforms such as Zendesk and Gorgeous and a ton, a ton of other tools. And they have a bunch of native integrations, but then whatever doesn't have a native integration usually has a good enough integration on like the third party side. So for example, if I want to integrate Okendo, Okendo, Okendo is a popular review platform. Um, I can do that from the Okendo side, but the integration works beautifully and it makes sense for all of the third party platforms to integrate with Klaviyo because Klaviyo is such a big player at this point that it's actually in the interest of that third party platform to build an integration with Klaviyo and make it happen because so many people are using in Klaviyo. I find that Preview um, integrates with fewer tools and I've Googled, you know, not all of the integration and native integrations like that they list here, which is normal. They can't build an integration with everything, but then the third party tool should build an integration with Preview, similar as they do with Klaviyo. And I Googled some of them and I couldn't find a lot of very important ones. And this is just, again, a product of the fact that Preview is a smaller brand um, and it works with smaller companies. So um, they do integrate with a lot of a lot of stuff. And actually, interestingly enough, they integrate with a lot of email service providers. And this is because they started as a pop-up tool. And as a pop-up tool, it's really important for you to integrate with other email providers. But now they are an email um, service provider as well. So it doesn't really make sense for them to integrate with other email platform providers. They should integrate with shopping platforms, review platforms, loyalty and reward programs, and so on, which I'm sure is probably on their roadmap. But this is something to keep in mind. So if you're using very specific tools and platforms in your business, and it's important for your email provider to integrate with them, just make, if you're considering Privy, make sure that you'll be able to integrate seamlessly one way or another to make everything work for you. Okay, so let's sum this up. We covered a ton in this video. If you liked it and if you found it helpful, please give a like to this video and subscribe to the channel. This helps us a ton and I will be eternally grateful if you do that. Uh, so. To draw the line, Klaviyo is definitely a great solution for bigger businesses. I would say medium sized and big businesses. Um, if you are making over $3 million in annual revenue, I'd say Klaviyo is definitely the platform to go. It will allow you to do a lot more things, a lot more interesting things. It will give your marketing team um, just a lot more tools to do really cool things with and help grow your business further. However, if you're a smaller brand and you don't need all of those things yet and your growth problems are very different, they're smaller too, it does make sense to go with Privy. They are more affordable. They are simpler too. So when you don't need all of that level of complexity yet, it makes sense to go with a simpler tool that makes your life easier and is more affordable. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. If you're still here, please make sure that you like the video if you haven't already and say hi in the comments. I really like to chat with people who view my videos. If you have questions, I will be happy to answer them. If you don't have questions, just like comment with a thumbs up emoji. Uh, all of the comments help promote this video, which helps our team. So thank you so much in advance for doing that. Make sure that you watch the other videos on this channel. We have a ton of great content for e-commerce, business builders, for email marketers and so on. So check them out and I will see you in one of those. Thanks so much.